Okay, welcome back. So this is podcast 11. Um, the resignation of Schleicher on the 28th of January 1933. Moving past the usual mind map. Okay, so you'll remember that um, after the, uh, the the Dahlem meeting of the 22nd of January, the day after it, uh, you remember that Schleicher had blundered into um, President Hindenburg's office and had basically presented him with a, a demand that, uh, as president, he, he give Schleicher far-reaching emergency powers to run Germany without having to use the Reichstag. And, of course, um, Hindenburg had laughed Schleicher out of office, out of his office, um, saying, well, these, these were exactly the same demands that von Papen um, had made of the president a month earlier, and uh, on that occasion Schleicher had opposed those same plans that he was now proposing, as if they were his own. And you may remember that um, uh, one of those plans that uh, Schleicher had, um, one of those proposals that Schleicher had given to Hindenburg, um, which in a sense was a reasonable proposal, um, was um, to dissolve the Reichstag and call new elections. Um, a reasonable request in a sense because the Reichstag of course was hung there was no way Schleicher could um, govern as a coalition chancellor uh, and of course Bruning had done that pr uh, previously and von Papen had done that previously on on those previous occasions Hindenburg had accepted the request so Schleicher was really steaming about the fact that Hindenburg refused the request to um, dissolve the Reichstag and call new elections um, so following that meeting on the 23rd of January, um, basically Schleicher met with his cabinet. Okay, he's this is still the Chancellor of Germany. He now realises that his days are over. Um, he met with his cabinet and he told them that the president had refused to dissolve the Reichstag. His position was pretty much untenable. Um, so the cabinet uh, unanimously um, supported Schleicher when Schleicher said, I have no choice but to resign as Chancellor. So Schleicher then went to the President. Um, one final attempt, he repeated um, the proposal that he had made five days earlier. He said, I am asking you one final time, dissolve the Reichstag and set a date um, for new elections. Um, but President Hindenburg turned him down. Of course, Schle Schleicher knew it and uh, we, of course, now know it. Um, President Hindenburg was simply waiting for Schleicher to resign because, of course, Sh President Hindenburg was sitting on uh, the proposal given to him by his son Oscar of a new cabinet led by Hitler. So um, uh, Hindenburg was waiting for this moment to happen. Uh, if you look at Fischer on page 257, it sort of describes rather dramatically the scene that then took place. Um, Schleicher um, uh, basically accused President Hindenburg of, of betraying him um, behind his back, um, which of course he had in a sense. And with all, Schleicher knew of all the secret negotiations that had been taking place, um, and uh, President Hindenburg basically said that then said to Schleicher, "I'm on the edge of dying. I'm an old man, and uh, and I." You know, I'm not too sure that when I go to heaven, well, that, that basically I, I might have my place in heaven denied um, for making a deal with the devil, effectively, um, and which you know, which uh, I suppose shows that even at this stage, President Hindenburg has got serious doubts, but he has allowed himself to be persuaded by the group of men around him, not least his own son Oscar. Okay. Um, so, uh, now, in spite of this, Schleicher walked out of the office, but interestingly, at the 11th hour, um, on the 27th of January, a false rumour circulated that General Schleicher was now actually planning to use his influence in the Reichswehr to seize control of government. Um, uh, remember, Schleicher basically does command the army. He could give an order to the Potsdam garrison, which is the soldiers based in Berlin, 
effectively to arrest Hindenburg and seize power. Um, not such a wild rumour, perhaps. I mean, it had happened in 1920. Uh, Cap had seized uh, control over the capital city. Um, so rumours were rife that basically uh, uh, Schleicher was now going to basically um, lead a military coup and seize power and set up a military dictatorship, to pre any, anything to prevent Hitler's appointment taking place. Um, in fact, those rumours were false. Schleicher had absolutely made no plans to do this. Um, but nevertheless, sometimes rumours can be significant in history. Um, if Hindenburg still has got last-minute doubts, as it, it seems he did, I mean, remember what he said to Schleicher about maybe I'm going to have to answer for this uh, when I meet God in heaven. Um, the rumours spreading around at the last minute that Schleicher was going to basically seize power and, and, and set up a military dictatorship, even though those rumours were not true, um, probably w was the final thing that convinced Hindenburg that clearly appointing a Hitler Papen cabinet uh, was the best solution. Okay, so that's the end of this pod uh, of this podcast. Um, you can move on to the next one. Thank you.